Mental stimulation can be quite beneficial to your dog, especially if they have a hard time settling down and relaxing. When you're trying to bring your dog into a more relaxed state, giving them an outlet to chew can really help. There are a ton of chew toys out there, but unfortunately, very few are deemed completely safe, especially for heavy chewers. Many plastic, rubber, and rope toys can end up causing intestinal obstructions or becoming a choking hazard for dogs who aggressively chew. This is why natural alternative chews are showing up more in pet stores. But does natural really mean safe? In this video, I'm gonna go over five natural chews with some that can pose a danger to your dog and others that are a much better alternative. Let's begin with raw hides. You know, those hard, white, skin-like chews that you see formed into shapes, dyed different colors, and even at veterinary offices promoted as dental cleaning chews? Yep, those are raw hides. Many owners buy these because they take a while to chew through, and they're also really cheap. But there is a reason for that. Rawhides are made from the discarded leftovers of the leather industry. They're soaked in salt baths for long periods of time during transport to slow decay. Then they're taken to tanneries where the hides are treated with chemicals like ash lye solutions to remove fat and hair. Then they're dried. Many times they're also whitened with hydrogen peroxide or bleach, sprayed with dyes, or smoked. Not only are these natural chews highly processed, but they also have very poor digestibility, especially when swallowed in large quantities. Because they're so hard to break apart into small pieces, they're also a major choking hazard. So with all of this considered, these are chews that I do not recommend. The next ones are bully sticks. Bully sticks are dehydrated beef pizzle, which is a pretty chewy muscular organ. Dehydrating them makes them even more tough and chewy, resulting in a pretty long lasting chew. Since these are just a dehydrated muscular organ, you also don't have to worry about teeth fractures, which is a major plus for me. This is why bully sticks are a chew that I do recommend. These are one of Matsu's favorites, and he does a great job with chewing it well before swallowing. But there's always a choking risk, especially when they chew it down to a smaller piece and attempt to swallow it. This is why monitoring is important. Additionally, be sure to check the ingredients label. There have been many times where I picked one up thinking it was a bully stick, but it turned out to be a mixture of rice flour and potato starch that was just mimicking one. Next, we have hooves. These were Matsu's favorite chew. They're literally just cow hooves and aren't treated with any chemicals or preservatives. Because of this, I thought they were a great chew to give Matsu, but unfortunately, there's a different danger they can bring to the table. And I had to find out the hard way. Matsu is a pretty heavy chewer and always tries to push his limits. One night, I was checking his teeth as I do on occasion and saw that his molar was fractured. I was completely mortified. I was positive that the raw meaty bones he eats weren't the culprit because they're sized appropriately for him. So I began to wonder, what did this? And then I realized, Matsu loved his hooves, so much so that he apparently crunched down so hard he actually fractured his molar. After this, I monitored the molar and for signs of pain when he was eating. He seemed okay, but after a while, he did start to favor that side. So I made the unfortunate decision to extract it. And the vet I worked with agreed. Hooves may be a great chew for light chewers, but for heavy chewers, teeth fractures are unfortunately something you may end up dealing with. Because of this, these are chews that I do not recommend. Then there's smoked bones. Bones can be great for dogs, both for teeth cleaning and even to consume, but there are major prerequisites to what makes a bone safe to consume. First of all, they can't be cooked. Cooked bones can splinter and cause obstructions in the trachea and intestines. Raw bones are the safer alternative because they're softer, don't splinter when chewed, and are easily digested. Secondly, they need to be small enough to chew into pieces that your dog can swallow. Thirdly, they need to have raw meat covering it, which acts like a cushion when they bite down. Now, maybe your intent isn't to feed smoked bones, you just wanna give it to them to gnaw on, but this is where the danger lies. These bones are cooked, and even though they're large enough to assume your dog won't bite pieces is off, they may surprise you, especially if they're an aggressive chewer. This is why I don't recommend these chews. And as an added warning, any natural treat or chew with bones that have been smoked or dehydrated is considered cooked and has the potential to harm your dog. 
Next are Himalayan yak chews. These are made from boiled yak or cow's milk that's been dried into a hard, cheese-like chew. These chews are harder than bully sticks, but a little softer than hooves. Matsu has actually never had any issue with chewing these, but I'm still going to warn that they may have a higher risk of fracturing teeth if your dog is an aggressive chewer. So do I recommend these chews or not? Actually, I do. Not only are they made up of ingredients that I approve of, but they also have a unique twist to them when it comes to safety. Choking is always a risk when giving your dog something to chew, but when your dog chews a yak chew down to a smaller piece, you can simply put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and watch it puff up into a crunchy treat. Just like I mentioned with bully sticks, check the label. The only ingredients you should see are milk, salt, and lime. Dehydrated muscle meats, tendons, and cartilage are all great options as a natural treat or chew as well. But bully sticks and yak chews take the cake when it comes to the ability to last for a while. If you're looking for something to remove tartar off your pet's teeth, these do a decent job. But there's one thing that reigns supreme when it comes to teeth cleaning. Watch this video to learn more.